Hi, it's Deb Watson here. In this 20 minute video, you're going to see a watercolor do over. I'll erase some areas and repaint them. You can have a do over with your paintings too. Keep the parts you like and redo the parts you don't. Arches watercolor paper will let you wipe off and repaint things several times. First, with this one, I want the foreground lighter so that the truck will stand out. Since I only want to wipe off the foreground, I'm going to protect the edges of the barn and truck with masking tape. For the curved edges of the truck, I'm going to wrap and fold the tape to fit. Then I take a piece of Mr. Clean's Magic Eraser. I dip it in the water to wet it and squeeze out all the water I can. Then wipe firmly enough that you lift up some of the paint. You want to turn your sponge to a clean area to wipe up once more. Don't rub the lifted paint back into your painting. You want to lift and turn until the sponge is covered, then rinse out the paint and keep going. You don't need to lift the paint back to the original white of the paper. Just get most of the paint off. If your paper starts to pill up like a sweater, then it's time to quit. While I'm erasing, I decide to take out that hill and bushes too. This is a busy picture and simplifying the background will give my viewer's eye a place to rest. Can you see how the edges of the tree follow the same line as the edges of the barn? I want this tree to have limbs that look more natural. I grab my wash brush, a size six round, and a small piece of natural sponge. For green, I'm mixing a puddle of phthalo turquoise. On one side, I mix it with green gold for a rich medium green, and the other side gets azo yellow for a lighter, more yellowish green. I wet my sponge and squeeze all the water out. Then I load my sponge with green. I decide I can't paint just part of the tree. I'll have to paint the whole thing. So I mask out the rest of the barn roof and mix more green paint. To get a very dark value, I add perlin green. That's green black that's really useful for landscapes. I use the perlin green to establish some dark values. And then I go back to sponging with the lighter greens. Sponges are great for easy tree texture.
If you get a big blob of color that doesn't look right, it's too solid, just dab some up with a paper towel to break up the shape. One secret to painting great trees is to dot or spatter on some cerulean blue, that's sky color, and some burnt sienna. Do this while the tree is still wet. I'm going to show you another easy tree technique in my next video using these same colors. For distant trees, I want soft edges, so I want to work wet on wet. I wet the sky and put in some of that green. Wait just a little bit and dot a tiny bit of darker green at the bottom. And that's it. Don't overdo your distant trees. The background needs to stay in the back, not have a lot of detail. I give the washed off hill a light coat of some leftover green, and it's time to pull off the tape. The harsh line between the foreground and the interior of the barn bothers me. It doesn't look natural. So it's time to go back to Mr. Clean's Magic Eraser. While that dries, I mix a puddle of red and soften up some of the barn detail. To darken my red, I add the Perlin Green. That way I can try to add variety. I add a wash of red to the brown doors. That door on the left is right on the edge of the paper, so I definitely don't want a lot of detail right there. I decide to add some color and value to the left side of the door and the foreground. Here's some burnt sienna. I pull some brown into the bottom door area. The red barn is drying, but the paint has all spread out into one value. Since I want variation, I'm just going to wipe off some areas of color. I also want something right in here, between the foreground and the green area. I mix up more green, and this time I tone it down with raw sienna.
While that dries, I add a coat of dark red to the open door areas. I re-wet the top of the truck and lift off some of the paint by dabbing it with a paper towel. Then I decide I'd better finish the background before I work on the truck. I add darker value to the bottom of the golden brown shrubbery that's still damp. And I decide to put another green bush beside the barn using some light and some medium green and then I add golden brown to the top. I'm still not happy with the barn doors, but I'm not sure what they need. I try outlining the crossbars, but I don't like that. Next, I draw some vertical lines for boards. I think the vertical lines are an improvement. In the foreground, I want darker color around the side and bottom edges. That keeps the viewer's eye from going off the page. I re-wet the left foreground and lay in the brown. Then I rinse out my brush and soften the edge. I like this color, so I add some to the inside of the door also. And then I paint the right side edges the same way. At this point, everything but the truck is almost finished. I use opaque white to add highlight lines to the top and edges of the roof and doors where the sunlight would be hitting. I also add white highlights to the truck, the windshield, and the fender.
I re-wet the front of the truck to soften up the rust spots there. The detail on the truck is nice, but the rust spots need variety. I'm just going to leave the rust spots towards the back because they're in a better spot for a center of interest. I really feel a need to put something dark in the bed of this truck. I mix more green and test out one shape. That's too much so I dab it up and just put in a little green. Last, I want the overgrown grass in front of the truck to show up. So I mix an opaque green with some cadmium lemon yellow. I don't make a solid fence of the grass. I only paint a few clumps here and there. I also add some to the bottom of the barn door on the left side. Last, I add an eye-catching highlight on the windshield. And there you have it. You can fix your paintings by wiping off parts you don't like. They may look fine just wiped off but you can also repaint things. Take photos as you go. If you liked a bit better before painting, just wipe it off again. Use blends of your colors for color harmony and tweak your values. Make your whites whiter and your darks darker for the most impact. Visit debwatson.org for tips and lessons on how to paint everything and happy painting.